Hi, I'm Simon Chappell. I'm the Quit Alcohol Coach, and as always, I'm here to help you smash your sobriety. So I wanted to talk about whether alcohol causes depression and anxiety. Obviously, depression and anxiety are two different things, but they also kind of go hand in hand, certainly from my own personal experience. Now, depression. What is depression? That is the feeling of an incredibly low mood. The kind of day where you can't get out of bed, you don't even want to talk to anybody, you might not want to go to work. And it's on a spectrum. So we can have just a bad day and we can have a really bad day. And when I was drinking, I often was in a low mood. I didn't go to full blown depression, but I certainly was on the way there. I was definitely never happy. So I had mild depression. Anxiety, on the other hand, is more of a feeling of worry thinking about catastrophic things that might happen in the future, telling yourself stories about what's going to go on, how things are going to play out, and often not positive stories, negative stories, fearing the worst, that kind of thing. And these worries won't leave you alone. They can keep you awake at night. Now, anxiety, mine was awful. It was nine or 10 out of 10. And thankfully, both my depression and anxiety massively faded after I quit drinking. So what's the link? Why does alcohol cause depression and anxiety? Because believe me, it does. It's been scientifically proven that it causes those things. And alcohol is a depressant chemical. You can look it up online if you don't believe me, but it causes the brain to create dynorphin, which is a depressant. And the reason it does that is that after that initial euphoric feeling, your brain is releasing lots of chemicals that make you feel a sense of euphoria. That's why we end up believing that alcohol is actually helping. Well, it's not. It's a complete illusion. After your brain has this huge hit of euphoria from the dopamine it's released, your brain needs to rebalance. It needs to get back to a state of homeostasis, which is the balanced state that it tries to maintain at all times. This big hit of alcohol has suddenly sent it right out of whack. So it releases dynorphin, a depression, to bring it back down in line. That's the depressing chemical. But often it releases way more of that than it needs. And this can be why we end up feeling sad, emotional and on edge, particularly the day after we drink, because we've just had a huge hit of depression. It's also the reason why it's only the first drink where we get that initial euphoric feeling. And after that, maybe half an hour or so of relief, we end up going on a slippery slope, a downhill slope. And the next day, well, if you're watching this, you probably don't need me to tell you how that can feel how it can come back in a high definition. So all alcohol really does is hits the pause button for a very short period of time. And the trade-off is hangovers, regrettable behavior, staying stuck in that loop of addiction, because believe me, it will be calling you back the next day. The more we drink, the more regularly, the more that belief forms that alcohol is helping in some way. You have to know it's not. In many cases, alcohol is the cause of the depression, the cause of the anxiety. And when you cut it out of your life, it goes, it fades. Now that's not to say that some people already have depression and anxiety. And if you're drinking on top of an already existing condition, it's gonna be out of control. But when you quit drinking, you can get complete clarity on the true version of you. And if you then discover, yeah, I have got some depression going on, I have got anxiety, well, you can do something about it. But you need to quit drinking first to find that real version of you. And if you wanna quit drinking, check out the other videos on my channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel, because there's new videos every Tuesday and every Thursday. And what I do is help people quit alcohol, help them find freedom and a wonderful new version of themselves. Now, when I started drinking, I felt like I'd found the cure to my anxiety and my low mood, because for a brief period of time, it lifted me out of them. But the whole thing was a trick, it was a trap. That's what drugs do, they trick us because they want us to keep coming back for more and more. Alcohol did that to me. I thought I had relief. I was self-medicating from this busy brain, this worrying mind, those low moods. And that was that brief period of relief. 
but it didn't last long and often I would have a blackout where I didn't even remember what happened the evening before. The next day it felt awful. Now you may have heard of payday loan companies. They lend people money at an extraordinarily high interest rate. And I've used this analogy loads of times in the past and you probably know how I love an analogy. But that is what it's like when we have anxiety, depression, and we mix alcohol with it. So, for example, if I lent you a hundred pounds and I said to you, that is going to give you relief, you're going to feel amazing, you're not going to have any money worries for the rest of the day, but tomorrow I want a thousand pounds back. You're going to think, okay, right, that day I feel great. The next day when you wake up owing me a £1,000, you're going to be feeling pretty down and pretty anxious about it because you haven't got it in the bank. Alcohol's the same. It takes away more than it gives us. So every time we drink to relieve anxiety and to relieve depression, what happens? The next morning, we're worse off than we started. It comes back in high definition and we feel worse than we did when we started drinking. So take a moment and think about whether it's really worth it. Is it really worth it, that short period of relief for the whole of the next day, the evening, after the maybe after you've had four or five drinks, that feeling, the blackouts, the regrettable behaviour, the whole of the next day with a hangover and feeling even more anxious and even more depressed than when you started. For me, absolutely not. And I spent over 20 years in that trap of thinking that alcohol helped me relax. It was a fake belief. It was a belief that held me back and a belief that limited me from being the best version of myself. And I want you to be the best version of yourself. And believe me, an alcohol-free you is going to be the one that feels anxiety fading, depression fading, and all of those things moving into your past. And sure, it can feel hard when you quit drinking in the first week or two, but there's all the tactics you need on my YouTube channel to help you get through that. So make sure you're set for success. It's a bit like learning a new skill. You need to practice. You need to learn about it. You're not going to master it straight away, but the more you learn, the more you immerse yourself in it, the more you're going to succeed, the more you're going to be set for absolute sober success. And if you don't feel ready to quit yet, maybe start to drink mindfully. Actually take notice of how much you're drinking and how it's affecting your mood, how it's affecting anxiety and depression. Get it all down. Get yourself a journal. Gather the data. Look at the information. And when you've got some clarity on that, you'll be able to join the dots up and you'll be able to see that, yeah, alcohol is absolutely causing the anxiety and the depression, which in most cases it will be. And even if it's not the absolute cause, trust me, it will be like pouring fuel on the fire of anxiety and depression. I've been there. I used to drink up to three bottles of red wine every single day, often with beer or spirits on top. I had awful anxiety, I had low moods, I've been there and I've now come out the other side of that. I'm a quit alcohol coach these days and I've seen it on both sides. You have to trust me and there's thousands of other people talk about this in podcasts and videos on YouTube and blogs. So everybody can't be lying. You need to take a bit of a leap of faith how will you ever know, unless you have a break from drinking, whether alcohol is truly causing your depression and anxiety? So you could treat this like an experiment. You could say, I'm not going to drink for the next 30 days and I'm going to see what happens. A bit like you've been given a field assignment to go out and discover what happens. And then once you've got that information, you'll be in a place where you can make a clear decision around the changes that have happened to you as to how you want alcohol to feature in your life. And my bet is, I'm not a gambling man, but my bet would be that at the end of that period, you would come back to me and say, Simon, absolutely, my depression is eased, my anxiety is eased. It's not worth it. It's not worth pouring that substance down my throat, thinking that I'm going to get some kind of relief, maybe 30 minutes relief in return for a lifetime of feeling trapped, feeling depressed and feeling down. And of course, one final thing to say is that when we drink, it affects every area of our lives, our careers, our relationships, 
our health, our productivity and our motivation, to name just a few. That It affected my life in all of those ways and a whole lot more. Now, what happens when those areas of our lives become affected? Bad things start to happen. Things start to go wrong. Things cause us worry. What happens then? We start to get depressed. We start to feel anxious. So not only is alcohol a depressant and it makes anxiety worse, by its nature, the cycle of addiction leads us to have more depression and more anxiety in our lives. So it's a double-edged sword. Not only is the substance itself causing the problems, the actual fallout from alcohol is causing further problems. So it becomes like a deep, dark spiral. It certainly did for me, and I've seen it in hundreds of people that I've worked with, that I've coached from being heavy drinkers through to being sober and happier than they've ever been. And that's what I want for you. So do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you check out the videos every week. If you subscribe, you'll be notified every Tuesday, every Thursday, and often there's bonus videos in between. I don't want you suffering from depression. I don't want you feeling anxious. And I feel like I need to pull you along and show you that cutting alcohol out of your life is gonna make a massive difference to that. So take the step, take the leap of faith. You might wanna check out my quick drinking program as well. You can try it completely free, but that's an awesome way to break free from alcohol with structure, support, tools, tactics, and an amazing community around you and help you move forward to a place of complete freedom from drinking. But you don't need to think this is a lifetime. I'm never going to drink again. Like I say, have an experiment. See what happens over 30 days and then make a decision for yourself. Come back to me. Tell me how it was for you because my view is you'll be experiencing much reduced anxiety, much reduced depression, and you'll never look back.